This here is an interesting product. It's a wireless radio or range extender by TP-Link for networks that need to be physically apart. In my case, I'm using it to connect two buildings around 150 meters apart wirelessly. This model is the TP-Link CPE610, but in the past, I've used a similar device from Cambium for several years. So if you're interested in a product like this, this is just to give you an idea and you can choose any such device based on your needs, price and availability. So, if you're interested in extending your home or office network to a different physical location, this video will help you. Let's explore this. The idea is quite simple. One of these radios acts as an access point whilst the other is its client. They established either a 2.4 GHz network or a 5 GHz network depending on the model. The CPE610 establishes a 5 GHz connection between the two radios and they can then communicate with each other with the throughput being up to 300 Mbps. So pay attention here when selecting a radio. Do not confuse the spec with the maximum speed you will get on the client side to your end devices. This model for instance only has a 100 Mbps LAN port, which means that the internet speeds at the client side as well as to the access point from your router is capped at 100 Mbps. You will have to step up to the CPE710 to get a gigabit LAN port that will allow you to benefit from higher speeds if your broadband goes faster than 100 Mbps. Now the actual radios are designed in a dish style form factor and come with a clamp style mount. Configuration is quite simple and the idea is that you first set them opposite each other indoors and connect to them and configure them to communicate with each other. I will link to a TP-Link configuration video that is several years old now but surprisingly all steps that they mention in that video apply to the current models such as the CPE610 V2. So once these two radios are configured as access point and client and can communicate with each other, the rest of the process is quite simple. You simply install the access point on the router side and the client on the other location where you want internet or the network to be extended. They draw power from an included PoE switch that connects them to the router. Now these radios work in line of sight and are highly directional, so they are very sensitive to any obstructions between them and also the angle at which they are set. Handily, they come with a utility which allows you to align them with precision and lock that position. Once set, you can monitor the network stats and make sure that the SNR or signal noise ratio is at its ideal value. The maximum range that this particular model can work with with a clear line of sight is 30 kilometers, but that would be a stretch in my opinion. People have successfully linked them at around 5 kilometers or so, and if the two locations you're trying to connect are closer and have a clear line of sight, then you will have a sure shot connection with no downtime. This has a 23 dBi transmit power and you can get models with lower 9 dBi outputs if you do not need the extra power. In my case, the two buildings are only around 140 meters apart and whilst this can easily be handled by the 9 dBi models, those come with integrated antennas inside the body. I much preferred the dish antenna style design of the CPE610 and so far the installation in my case has been flawless. There has been zero downtime and I consistently get the 100 Mbps speeds at the client side. Now this is just one example of such a product and there are tons of them in the market that will do a similar job. I am familiar with the TP-Link products and have used many of their routers over the years and so I feel comfortable using their interface. I found this to be a very user-friendly and intuitive interface and was able to set up these radios in no time. I also used Cambium EPMP1000 radios for a good few years and they worked well for a few years before a power surge fried one of the PoE injectors. Following this, their reliability was not as good. Their customer service was excellent and spent many months with me trying to diagnose and monitor the drops in the connection. When the other PoE injector finally failed, I decided it was time for an upgrade. Personally, I would recommend the CPE610 to anyone who needs up to 100 Mbps speeds to be extended to another physical location. If you have a faster connection, go for the CPE710 instead. Configuration and installation is really easy and once installed, you can simply forget it and enjoy network connectivity at your new location. I hope you found this video useful and if you did, please consider subscribing for more such videos. Thanks for watching and I will see you in my next one.